My name is Rick McPhail. I'm the guitarist for Tokotronic, and I'm going to be a tutor at BIM. <laughs> I think Hamburg is a great place for inspiring musicians. Number one, the whole history, like the history of rock and roll, like the fact that the Beatles started here, and there's, you know, there's still tons of clubs in every size, you know, that you can get a lot of experience playing in. One of the largest uh, distribu uh, record distribution companies in Hamburg, and uh, still some publishers as well, and some, some labels, bigger labels, smaller labels in Hamburg. I think the thing that really made me excited about BIM was the fact that it's not like most music institutes, you know. I grew up playing music already from when I was 10 onwards. I played in an orchestra in school and a marching band and the jazz band and stuff. And this whole like really serious aspect of uh, music institutes and stuff like that kind of really, really turned me off, you know. And uh, this whole technical side because I just wanted to play, you know. I just wanted to write my own music and stuff. And I think what really... Uh, got me excited about it is the fact that there's, you know, there's a lot of focus on trying to teach you about the industry itself, you know, as a whole, how to work. And I think that's a very important thing for music starting, musicians starting out nowadays. And teaching things like songwriting and stuff, you know, I mean, that's what it's about. It doesn't matter if you could play 50 chords, uh, but um, uh, that's the problem, I think, with a lot of musicians, is the fact that they don't know how to write a song, and that's kind of what it's all about when it comes down to it, you know. I think the main advice that I would give to new students um, is just to not be a jerk, uh, <laughs> to treat everybody with respect. And it doesn't matter if it's bands opening up for you when you're playing a gig or whatever, and you're, you're a jerk to them. It could be that in a year later that they're you know twice as big as you or whatever, and they're never gonna, they're not gonna take you on tour if you were a, a jerk to them the whole time, you know. And it's a, it's a much smaller business than people think, you know. And I think that if you're if, if you're friendly and you treat everyone with respect, it's something that will get, get you, you know, quite a ways in this business, you know. It's not all about being able to play perfectly, you know. Because you have to, because bands are relationships, you know, and having relationship skills and stuff like that and, uh, is, is a very important aspect to the job.